Assalamualaikum and hello to all of you. In this video, we will learn about percentage yield and how to perform calculation using more concept in order to find the value of percentage yield. So here, let's start. Percentage yield is the ratio of the actual ratio yield that we obtain from experiment to the theoretical yield that we obtain from the stoichiometry calculation multiplied by 100 or in the other word theoretical yield is the yield that you obtain when we use all of the limiting reactant that means in order to find percentage yield it is important for you to master about uh, about limiting reactant. So the formula for percentage yield is the actual yield over theoretical yield time with 100%. Okay, so actual yield always less than theoretical yield because during an experiment, okay, you might lose some of the reactant. So it is uh, difficult or nearly imp nearly impossible to get actual yield equal to theoretical yield so we go to the first example in a certain experiment we have 14.6 gram of sbf3 was allowed to react with ccl4 in excess after the reaction was finished 8.6 gram of ccl2f2 was obtained so here we know that CCL4 and SBF3 is the reactant and CCL2F2 is the product. Okay, so uh, we go to the value. 14.6 gram of SBF3 was allowed to react with CCL4 in excess. That means we know that SBF3 is limiting reactant because CCL4 is in excess. And then the question give you information that we have 8.62 gram of CCL2F2 was obtained. Okay, so that means it is actual yield. You, uh, you obtain from the experiment, not by calculation. Okay, so the first question, what was the theoretical yield of CCL2F2 in grams? And second, what was the percentage yield of CCL2F2? Okay, so... We go to the solution. First one, we find the theoretical yield because FD, SBF3 is limiting reactant. So, we use the number of mole of, of SBF3. Okay, 14.6 gram divided with the 179 gram per mole. So, we get this value for the number of mole. Therefore, we use stoichiometry to find. So, 2 mole of SBF3 will produce 3 mol of CCL2 F2 so uh, when we have this value number of mol 8.1564 times 10 to the power of negative 2 mol of SBF3 so we will get 0.12235 mol CCL2 F2 so here is the number of mol Therefore, in order to find the mass of CCL2F2, the number of mole times its molar mass, so the theoretical value is 14.80 gram. Okay. And then, we can use the formula to find the percentage yield. Because the actual yield has been given. And we also have find the theoretical yield. Okay. So, 8.62 gram divided with the 14.80 gram times with 100%. So, we get here 58.24%. Okay, so this is the first example. Okay, so here the next example we have is 3.7 gram of sodium metal and 4.3 gram of chlorine gas react to form sodium chloride what is the theoretical yield okay 
Next, if 5.5 gram of sodium chloride was formed, what is the percentage yield? So, okay, uh, the question wants you to find the theoretical yield and also percentage yield. So, sodium we have 0 0.1609 and chlorine we have 0 0.06056 mole of chlorine. So, we go to the comparison. In order to find the limiting rate then, so 2 mole of sodium produce 2 mole of sodium chloride. So, we have this value 0 0.16094 mole of sodium will produce 0 0.1609 mole of sodium chloride. So we compare with the second reactant that is chlorine. 1 mole of chlorine produce 2 mole of sodium chloride. So if we have 0 0.06056 mole chlorine will produce 0 0.1211 mole of sodium chloride. So here we know that chlorine produce fewer mole of product. Okay. So, chlorine is the limiting reactant. Then, we will use the, the amount of limiting reactant, that is chlorine, in order to find the number of mole of sodium chloride produced. So, we get 0.1211 mole. Therefore, in order to find the mass of sodium chloride, number of mole times this molar mass. So, we have 7.08 gram of sodium chloride. So, this is the theoretical yield. So, in order to find percentage yield, please remember the formula. Okay. So, we have 5.5 gram as the actual yield over theoretical yield that we get when all of the limiting reactant has been consumed. Okay. Please remember this. So, we have 7.08 gram times with, times with 100 so we get 78% ok so this is two example about the percentage yield so please ask your lecturer ok if you have any question ok thank you